song we're playing that song and just the irony of the lyrics of that song I'll, I'll pray for stormy skies <laughs> it's the one thing we didn't pray for today and look what happened we got sun there you go huh? I see our, 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 our speaker with gravity turned towards us as we were playing there I noticed it's starting to get louder on one side because I can feel myself kind of doing this Pivot going yeah, on. Heading down the hill, yeah, yeah. I think I think I'm gonna uh, we're gonna end up in the lake. Be, yeah. We'll be in the lake by the end of the show. So, <laughs> so we may have to do the fiction of speakers every now and again, but that's all part of the gig, don't worry. <laughs> oh now. Well guys, you know we're um <clears throat> thinking of changing the name of the the name of the band. Oh. To the poachers, or something like that, or the eggheads, or we might just call the band Benedict. Hold on, this is New York. This is New York. Oh, well, I tell you what, because it's such a beautiful day, why don't we call the band Sunny Side Up? <laughs> Guys, I can't help notice that the audience seemed very excited. <laughs> that, uh... that, that first song's actually frying in the rain. <laughs> That's a really good egg sample. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, folks, thanks so much for coming. We'll see you later on. <laughs> Guys, the, the exit is just up there. Okay. <laughs> 
How do we how, how do we scramble ourselves out of this? We better not touch the drink tonight. <laughs> Seems we're in this mood, huh? <laughs> Well, guys, I, I, we, I, I just gotta say, sorry, I just gotta sorry. say first. Of, I've spent my day with egg on my head, giraffes on my head. I don't know, I don't know what's next at this stage of I know I've washed my locks three times today. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I just keep going back into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a record. I know, yeah. It's a wash about five eggs in my hair. You know. And I did the other two times. And that times. was before. I know. Not before the game. <laughs> and the other two times just because I like watching my area. You know? <laughs> oh, no. It's because you're worth it. <laughs> right, okay, we're going to sing a song here, actually. Oh, my God. So Lucky is having a good time this weekend. It's been pretty special. <laughs> I say weekend, I know it's not actually a weekend, but it just feels like a weekend, doesn't it? It's really, it's really, it, it is that, but yeah, it's been amazing, amazing few days, and yeah, we always think of this is the this gig, and then that's sort of the end of it, but it's, there's so much more after this gig as well, so like, um, we have a lot of uh, surprises for you tonight in the uh, acoustic gig as well, so it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh, yes. It's a long night ahead. There it certainly is, is. Yeah. certainly is. Yeah, it's going to be great. Well, you know, I think we have all definitely made Lake Placid our home from home. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Sitting at a lonely bar in an unfamiliar town. Missing words and songs I heard but never wrote them down. Thinking of the folks at home, I promised I'd be back. Told him then I know I'm wrong I'm just here for the ride Oh, yeah. Our people have been leaving out for centuries before Trying to find a better life for one of them and show Now it's us a generation forced to do the same Building dreams with bricks and beams Exports once again oh, to be away
folks. Thank you very much. Woo. Oh, yeah. It's heating up in here. That's it. Mr. Kelly. Hey, <laughs> Left on a Monday with all that I own inside. With prayers from my mother, my father's guitar on my back. One last look to my home and there's a kitchen in the cold Dublin rain. Then I run up the steps and I boarded that immigration plane. Leaving the land that I love for one I can't see. Closing my eyes, I began my American dream. This isn't a market dream, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, yeah. 
Do you know, we, um, sorry, I was gonna say... Listen, go ahead, I'm sure. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you know Neil Byrne? Do you know Neil Byrne? You probably don't recognize me with the short hair, you know. <laughs> Yeah. That was a pretty drastic yeah. cut. Yeah. yeah, it was a drastic cut. A very drastic yeah. cut, yeah. We, you know, we, we were um, writing this next song um, about the meeting of the waters. It's sort of like, it, it dawned us, we started off writing the song about the, the, the place itself and the, this beautiful place in County Wicklow in Ireland um, where all you quiz buffs will know <laughs> the, the Avonmore and the Avonbeg meet and they become... The Avoca River, for one point. <laughs> Peter, where's the side effects? <laughs> Sorry. DJ Sharon, it's been a long day. Sorry. Where's George Michael when you need him? <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, and, and this is a beautiful place, and, but, but the song developed much more than that. It became really about, about life, because it's a spiritual place that people go, and, and we thought then, do you know what? When people stand at the, at the river's edge and look at this beautiful, beautiful place and the river flowing along and they're thinking about their lives and what's going on in their lives, it really um, it took a new meaning for us because we said, look, isn't your life like a river? And uh, I often say this, but we'd love our rivers to be, our life rivers to be one big straight line where you can see exactly where it's going. And unfortunately, as we know, it's not quite the case. And our life rivers, there's a lot of twists and turns along the way that we have to deal with. And it's, it's all about, we, we realize this, I think it's all about, you know, living with, with, with the twists and turns in your life. Thanking God for the calm in between that makes life what it is. Absolutely. And this is certainly, the last few days has been calm in between, I think. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Prime, prime example, yeah. yeah. I'd love more, more of this calm, you know. Yeah. Maybe another couple of weeks here would be great. But you know, as Ryan said, you know, and calm is the word because uh, at that place, the meeting of the waters, it does tend to give people a really calming effect, you know, and uh, you just kind of sit there and take in the elements that's around there. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. And, you know, one of the lines that we put in our song, wherever I go, I'm here, I'm now, is uh, a line that we like to follow generally in life, you know, about being in the, the present time and enjoying the present time like us all here. Yeah. In Lake Placid, having a, a wonderful time. You park up everything else and just, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it as much as possible, you know? So uh, we're gonna play the song, The Meeting of the Waters.
Thank you very much. Gravity has moved our speaker again. <laughs> oh dear. Michelle, can we put you on official speaker watch? Is that okay? I will be honored to watch the speaker. You want me to stay there and hold? <laughs> no, that's fine. Because the streets are getting more of a concert than you are. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I was going to say, is it that bad that you didn't get the facts? We got it. The next song we're going to do actually is a song um, about a young lad who, who leaves the uh, city of Derry up in the north of Ireland and heads on a boat to go to, to come here, to come to New York, down a wee bit to New York City. And um, he, he, he sort of has to, has to leave his town because he, he's no job, he's no money anymore. And he's, he's, he's thinking about this and thinking, it's, it's, you know, leaving behind his family and his friends is an awful, awful thing. But mostly he's hurting inside because he's leaving Liza, his girl, behind. And this is the girl he wants to marry. And so he's getting on this ship and he's, you know, saying he has to do it and he's, 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 he, he, he hopes to get to the other side. But his big plan is, is, is to, you know, get enough work there in New York City make his money to be able to come home and marry Liza. But at the minute, she's stuck in what he calls Paddy East Green Shamrock Shore, which is his name for Ireland. We're going to play it for you right now. But no one to 
pity for No father kind no mother dear To lift me hand when it was so Which made me think more Of the lassie I left On the ice green shadow on shore Thank you. Woo. Slauncher, everyone, slauncher. It's never too early to drink, it's not. <laughs> not on an Irish retreat, anyway, for sure. We were just talking there one day, just um, about the first time Neil and myself met. Back in the year of our Lord, 2007. <laughs> Long, long time ago. <laughs> we um, we met up up in a, up a recording studio up, up in the, up in the north of Ireland, up in up in County Antrim, and it was the the first day uh, recording day of this new album for this new group that we didn't know much about, and uh, we didn't know what was going to happen with this group. The group. I'm not sure whatever happened to them. Um, they were called Celtic Thunder. Uh, yes. We didn't know what was going on those days, did we? We certainly didn't. Not we, we know. Just... Not that we know a lot now because we don't. Know. Way, oblivion. Yeah, we just we, we didn't know what was going to come no. up there, what was going to happen, you know. Yeah. But we joined the circus. We did. In 2007. As two young 14-year-olds. Yep. I'm not sure why that's I'm not sure why that's funny, but uh, yeah, we 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 got out of school. Did you remember we were wearing the school uniforms? <laughs> that's right. We to yeah. record the song. It was it was. This was grey. Mine was kind of wine coloured. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> you always like the wine. Oh, I always like the wine. You know, <laughs> too much. But anyway, look, we recorded this song. Anyway, um, it was our very first song that 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 we played together. Neil played guitar. I, I sang. And it was a song um, that sort of had a lot of history for us going back a lot of years before that even. It certainly did. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, the, the album 
itself that this song was off, I think was very, very possibly the album that made me uh, become a musician or want to become a musician at the time when I was a child. It was the first album I ever bought. And I remember sitting at home in the living room in the dark, okay? <laughs> in the dark. We had an old Toshiba stereo. My dad had, right? We still have it there, actually. It needs a bit of restoration, but an old Toshiba with, with, with the turntable and the tape cassette, right? And I used to put on that album, and no kidding you, at night, and I used to sit there as a kid in the dark and just watch it. I remember the LED lights flashing on it all the time and just listening to Mark Knopfler's playing and it just blew me away, you know, as a child and I was hooked. I was hooked from then. But if, if we fast forward over 20 years, um, yeah, it makes us a lot older, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah, mm -hmm. we're thinking about that. Yeah. We, we played, <laughs> yeah. We, we Good played, math, thanks for the math. <laughs> <laughs> We played one of our most prestigious, prestigious gigs to date, and uh, that's easy for you to say to you. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, we've fantastic memories. It was one of the first Celtic Thunder shows, and it was uh, the first time myself and Ryan took centre stage together uh, for this song, and it was a wonderful experience. It was a, it was a quite a nerve wracking experience, yeah. as it was in Radio City Music Hall in New York, and. Uh, not too far from here, eh? Yeah. You know? But it was, yeah, you talk about nerve-wracking. I mean, I've said this before, but it, I often remember opening line of the song and just singing it and there's 6,000 people looking at you. Uh, and you're on a stage and all you can see is like faces and exit signs everywhere and it's going... <laughs> I think I just want to get to that exit sign. <laughs> yeah. I was gone with you, I can tell you. <laughs> Come on, Burton, we're off, we're off. <laughs> But it was, yeah, and, and, then, and then the leg shake starts, and um, so you're singing, and I didn't realise that my leg was shaking so hard, and it, it's not easy to stop, the leg shake. <laughs> it's not. And as I told you, I, 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 I remember it, you know, I remember looking at Ryan, you know, as we were looking out into this different world, and uh, Ryan was there, and I, I said he's so much more confident than I am, because he was going like this, and he was... <laughs> You know, it's also because he was the leg going, you know. I think I was probably going more like this. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks convincing. I think you, you put a bit of a, a, a wiggle into it as well, you know. But uh, yeah, it, it definitely, um, uh, it definitely, uh, it, it kind of settled my nerves because you were, you were giving it soft there, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I remember, do you, do you remember this, actually, the, the, uh, the party? In Radio City, after it, yes, the after right, yes, yes. and uh, not name dropping now, but you know the comedian Billy Connolly. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Billy Connolly was at the show, right, yes. and uh, I always remember him shouting in after the after the show, you know, sack the band, sack the <laughs> band, you know, <laughs> Billy Connolly, yeah, <laughs> the hair down here and the beard down there, it was great, it was brilliant. I know. I know. But anyway, I suppose we're going nine years later now, and uh, we thought. Look, whether it's the great, grand uh, Hall of Radio City Music Hall, or here in this amazing Lake Placid place, yeah. we're going to play for you anyway. This is Brothers in Arms. Covered mountains are a home now for me, but my home is the Lord's land. Always will be. Someday you'll return. Through the 
What a way to end a tour than this. I think this is an amazing way for us. We've been on the road, of course, for the last sort of, what, I don't know, five weeks, six weeks, something six like weeks, that. Six weeks, I think. Something like that. And um, this is basically our life now, is tour life and being on the road and doing all that. And we thought, we often get asked the question, what is this tour life like? What's it all about? And we said, do you know what? Probably be better just to write a song about it. Um, <laughs> It gets a sort of sort of answering some questions we're not really quite sure of. Isn't it? Like, <laughs> it, does, yeah. it has for years. <laughs> Just write a song about it. So we wrote a song. We said, you know, keep it moving. Sort of, you know, it it it, it sort of it's the phrase that that uh, makes a lot of sense and sort of sums up to our life in general. And so yeah, we we we, um, we included quite a few stories from tour over the years into the song. Um, we've kept them vague. Um, as we always say, for legal reasons, uh, some stuff you're better off not knowing. For... We just can decode as we go every line and make up your own minds, yeah, what you think these might mean. But as um, 
you're obviously, well, to be fair, you lot especially are a massive reason why we keep touring and keep coming yeah. back and back and thank you so much for the So, as a thank you, we're going to make you work. Um, <laughs> but thank you for agreeing to be a massive part of this song by being our percussion department in the song. We have every faith in you, we think you've got a lot, of, a lot of rhythm. Lot you know, you guys are musical. Yeah. It's all tried and tested over the years. And um, as Ryan said, we need a percussion section for this song. All right? And um, I'll bring it in with the bass drum here, okay? And then Nicole will show you when to start, but yeah, I know most of you guys, you, yeah, you know this, okay? So you should probably lead the way anyway, okay? Okay. You can tell us how to do this song, can you? One more time. Staring at the sun. Woo! Early morning and we're moving on. Another town behind. And the moon is on. to the sound
We keep it moving for as long as we can. The rhythm is good in Lake Placid. We're loving it. Yes.
David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth The minor fall in the major league Maybe there's a God above, but all I've ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody who I drew you. Yeah. It's not a cry that you hear at night. It's not someone who is seen the light. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. Amazing. It always reminds me of wearing really good noise cancelling uh, Bose earphones and having them in stereo, you know, you're singing as I just had uh, this whole stereo effect around us. It sounds fantastic. You're so, got some, some voice. I, I think next year we're going to come to your retreat. Is that okay? Is that okay? I was just want to say actually to our, our Beyond the Fencers, we're, we're Burning Kelly. Our name is Burning Kelly, by the way. And, uh, Good to see you. Yeah. Can you hear okay out there? It's all right. <laughs> We're giving you a wee bit of Ireland and a wee bit of ourselves. Thanks so much for, for staying around and you're more than welcome to listen and uh, yeah, yeah, have fun. Woo! I thought you were talking about like a basketball team or something when you said <laughs> our defensers. Our defensers. <laughs> <doing> great. <laughs> Or beyond the fencers, I said. Beyond the fencers. Beyond the fencers. Okay, what are we doing now? We're gonna go old school. We're gonna go old school. Yeah. Burning Kelly. Or... Oh my God, so we are. Back, <laughs> back in the old days. This is from the, the early days. Do you remember us? This is from uh, Dunedin, Florida. <laughs> For those of you who did anyone get that answer last night in the quiz? Yeah, one, maybe one or two. That's all. Dunedin was our very first gig. Dunedin, Florida. That's right. 1987, I think it was. <laughs> it's you know what, it feels a bit like that. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, 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 how you doing? All right. It's just, just great having you here beside me, buddy. You know, it's just, I like to wave over at him sometimes, you know, between songs. That's right, that's right. Yeah. We're a team, we're a team. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no one ever wants to see that ever again. Please. Oh goodness, goodness. Ken, Ken showed us that today on, on, on his on his phone, and I got his phone and I threw it into the lake. And it's gone. It's there. So if anyone could swim, they can get Ken's phone back. But that's the... Open the can of worms there to me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe after a few jammies tonight, you might see us up on the floor. You never know. One, two, three, four. Well, there's 
the smell of fresh cut grass and it's filling up my senses. Sun is shining on the blossoms on the avenue. There's a buzz and fly hanging over the blue downs and the daisies. There's a lot more love ever left in this world. Don't go! Don't leave me now! in the water. It feels good to play and build castles on the shoreline. Painting that we love. Lord, it feels so far. Don't go. Don't leave it now, now, now. While the sun is fine. Stick around that wire. And they're coming at me at a pace now Blue Sirocco going warm into my face Sun is shining on the other side of the bridges As the cars go by, smiling at the windows There's a black cat line Shadow of people, black cat Tells me the club is on the screen And there's a black cat lying in the shadow of the keyboards Sweet. 
and songs to sing. It's lonely around the fields of the This next song, right? We done our, uh, we recorded our documentary film about all our, the stories throughout our songs, and we brought our film director back to Ireland with us, Michael McGlynn. We had one last day to film. We were, we were filming for about 10 days, and we had one last day, and the only thing, the one thing we had to depend on was the Irish weather. It's extremely dependable, it really is. It's... I know, I know. There'll be no worries at all. So we woke up at 6 a.m. in Dublin, and we were heading across to County Clare, right to the very, very coast, the west coast. Torrential rain. And the skies were just black. We contemplated maybe not going, but we really needed to get this last bit of footage. It was a very, very important bit of footage for us to document this last song. And we had the headlights on in the car, we had the wipers going full, and we said, we'll keep going. We told the crew, we said, lads, let's just keep going. We made it to the West Coast in three and a half hours, and we made it to a little village called Doolan. And Doolan is a beautiful little harbour. That's embedded in the cliffs of Moher, a beautiful place. And I think it was like God was looking down on us or something that day because he pulled back those black clouds and sent them back to Dublin. He's back to Dublin. I tell you, I'm not telling you a word of lie. It was absolutely glorious. It was beautiful. And uh, we made our, myself and Ryan made our way up onto the top of the, the cliffs of Moher. 
and stood there taking in this absolutely breathtaking view of this absolutely beautiful place. And you know, we kind of had, we, we stood there for about 20 minutes, the two of us. Yeah. And we had kind of mixed emotions came with this because it's, you know, it's awesome, it's huge, it's just a lot to take in to look at, you know, it's ruggedness, it's p the power of the Atlantic Ocean hitting the cliffs, you could feel the vibrations up through you. And, uh, but the history we went down there for, you know, the history of the West Coast and why so many people left Ireland and had to leave Ireland in the famine times. And because uh, basically they would starve if they, if, if they stayed. They left the West Coast on what then became known as the coffin ships because a lot of people died on those coffin ships and they, a lot of ships didn't make it across the waters to either the US, Canada or Australia. And uh, I suppose by documenting this, and we got beautiful aerial footage of where we were standing looking out at this place, it really connected us even more to the song mm -hmm. we had written about those times. Yeah. It was, it was the strangest thing because we'd written a song months and months previous, uh, Land of a Thousand Dreams, telling the story, as Neil says, about, about the, you know, our forefathers standing on these cliffs, those very cliff edges, watching down as their family and friends boarded these ships because they had no choice. For life, they had to get on these ships to try and come here, to come to America, you know, to come to Canada, to try and find life. And, and I guess standing there looking, you know, feeling the power of that ocean and, and, and just what was going on, it brought this whole thing home and, 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 and I guess, you know, it was only 150 years previous that our forefathers had stood there and did that. And so our song that says, you know, these are the shores they had to leave, but this is the land that still believes. And for us, that's what Ireland is. And it's a land that still believes and, and it's a song we're very proud of. And um, I guess in a weekend that we're very proud, mm -hmm. it's very apt that we sing a song about our land of a thousand dreams. Walk with me through this land of a thousand dreams. Stand where our fathers knelt and watched Atlantic swell and heave on its western shore. They pray to God for those they've lost and prayed she take no more. Like we fought before. Take a stand for what's gone is gone. Now we'll take no more. We'll rise for our time to see. This hand is ours. Never more. Still run. 
Influenced by some beautiful folk and country music and all from over this direction. One of our favourite songs is the next one we're going to play, and uh, I just know everybody here will know this song. <laughs> they have to. It's a stand it's a classic, it's an absolute classic by a wonderful legendary duo. We'd love to play it for you right now.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I know. I'm nearly afraid to say it. <laughs> you said, you said, you said. We love you, Leo. I know. Listen, we have another show later on. Yeah. <laughs> this is only like half time. It's like half time. That's all. It's like the end of the second quarter. That's all. That's all it is. Yeah. We tried to think of a song to finish this 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 um this part of the show with, and uh, we thought. Let's go back into the archives as well with of B and K and it's been a wee while since we played this song. It certainly has. But it's um it's a party song. Yeah. And these few days have been a party for sure. And the party will continue for the next few hours as well. We're all this is only started it. It's only started it. Um and yeah, that, yeah, I think we should just play it, shall we? Let's play it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. 
you guys. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Kelly Gospel is getting preached outside. Yeah. So, yeah. So, thank you very much to our professors. Thank you. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks guys. You didn't expect to be hearing Irish music tonight, but you've heard Irish music. You know? <laughs> I guess it would be a bit rude to, to, to not play one more song. Now she'll listen. Let's see what on, huh? We've gone from Ireland to the US. This time, we're going down under.